Hi, I'm Sarah, the Peer Project Support Worker for Recovery College Calderdale. This is my second vlog um, and last time I spoke about my um, experience of actually sort of getting started with getting into exercise. Um, and this time I'm just going to talk about what um, what I've been getting up to over the last, um, last couple of weeks. So I've actually been on annual leave, so I've had two weeks off, two weeks off work, um, and I've been um, I've been shielding, so I've not really been out so much during the lockdown, just some local strolls. Um, so I've been staying in quite a lot. Um, I have been exercising at home, so um, I've built that up gradually and. Um, got to a point now where I am doing about 30 to, to 60 minutes of really quite advanced and in, fast intensive exercise every day. Um, and at the beginning of my, my weeks off um, I was really excited for going out for quite a long walk and um, I quite enjoy walking so beginning of my um, my leave we went for, I went for a walk quite a steep hill walk and I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, I'm that fit now, I've been exercising that much, I'm gonna be able to just run up this hill. So um, there I was, um, and that unfortunately did not happen. In fact, um, I really, really struggled um, getting up the hill. I was out of breath, my legs were aching. They actually felt quite weak as well. Um, and the next day I, um, I felt really stiff and achy, which I wasn't really expecting. And then I think after that, I actually felt a little bit discouraged. So a little bit like oh, put me off doing any exercising really. And then, um, so I had, had a few days of just not re resting, uh, not, not exercising, resting. Um, but I'm one of these people where, you know, I can put quite a lot of pressure on myself and I can beat myself up and I can very much be in the mindset of I should be doing this or I need to be doing this. and everyone else is doing this so I'm, I'm that sort of person sometimes and I was feeling a little bit sort of you know I shouldn't really be, be re relaxing shouldn't really be resting um and I sort of started to feel a bit more like getting back into exercise um and I actually thought well I think what it is that it, whilst I've been in lockdown whilst I've been exercising quite a lot it's been quite short bursts of you know fast intense exercise so it's probably not that I'm unfit it's just more that you know I need to just work on my stamina a little bit more so what I'm doing now is I've scaled it back to um just going on some sort of slightly longer local walks and um using my exercise bike being quite steady on my exercise bike um I've started off doing 30 minutes um a day and I'm going to start building up to two uh two hours um a day just to build that stamina um i'm just doing it whilst i'm watching telly as well so i'm going to have to find uh, some films to watch when i get to uh get to my two hours um but yeah so i'm just uh just gradually building it up um again it, and it's a bit a bit strange um going from being in mrs motivator mode to this sort of slower you know slower less intense exercise um but I think it's just what my body needs at the moment and I think I probably needed a bit of a rest you know I've been working I've been exercising every day so my little two weeks off I've, I probably just need did need some time off probably just my body was saying I need a bit of a rest so um I sort of got thinking again back to when I started exercising and when I actually started, when I started going to the gym, I couldn't eat, I could only do eight minutes on the bike. So, you know, it was, um, it, it was a very, you know, very gradual build up. Um, and sort of, I think when I started going to the gym, like my expectations of exercise and, and the gym were a bit, a bit strange. Um, and I had a gym buddy and I'm thinking right now to like my first appointment with her and she sort of she asked me you know what what would motivate me what what she thinks would motivate me and I said 
do you know what? I actually think it really would help if you shouted at me and you just kept saying, go on, go on, you know, stop slacking off. And she looks at me really, really confused, really shocked. She said, well, it's not really what we do, you know, let's, um, let's start off a bit more gently, a bit, bit more gradual. So I think I was just expecting some sort of sergeant major army environment. And like I say, so I started off doing eight minutes on the bike and just some other little exercises like that and built it up quite gradually. And um, unfortunately, um, a few months after starting at the gym, I got appendicitis. So um, it, it was quite difficult to recover from that operation. It was very, very weak. So I had to, again, pretty much start over with my my exercise and build it back up again and I um I even joined sort of a little group a little class and it was for people with health problems um and I was the the youngest person there by about easily by about 50 years but you know it, it didn't matter you know I, I was enjoying it and um I was doing it for me so yeah, so I think like I've just just look, looking back really at some of my um my expectations and like how sometimes I think I beat myself up a little bit and it's like oh I should be doing this and I should be doing that and when really what I should be doing is listening to my body. You know, eight minutes is actually for a quite good for some people. It's a massive achievement. And, you know, just because other people are, are, you know, going running or going, you know, doing loads of exercise, it doesn't mean that I have to do it. You know, I'm doing this for me. So that's sort of just what, what I've been thinking about, really, my expectations and just sort of the things we tell ourselves, really, when it comes to exercising and the pressure that we put ourselves under. It doesn't need to be like that at all. It's... You know, if you have a bit of a break from exercising, whether it be a few days, a few weeks or a few months, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you failed and, you know, that's it. You're never going to exercise again. It just means that, you know, you've got other things going on. Um, You, you need a rest. And also, if um, I think if anyone is sort of thinking about um, start, if they are, how have had a bit of an inactive period or they're thinking about starting exercising it's just sort of getting to think about why you would do it that you would be doing it for you and, and not for anyone else not to impress anyone else so hopefully I've got people thinking about maybe taking that step to exercising even if that just be a little gradual walk around your garden or around your house going up down your stairs or whether it be going for a bit of a longer walk or something like that so that's that's my sort of that's my um vlog for this week so good luck to everyone and i hope to hear of some uh, some people getting active thank you bye